All right, here we go. I am going to make this video about adding uh, pages to this resources. Uh, it has the ability to produce a uh, like a pop out drop down menu here, which it currently does not have. It's just the single static general science page. So you're going to log into the Weebly editor and you'll end up into this area. Now, under the build is your standard uh, widgets and um, uh, page items. If you come here, this is all the pages that are here. What, what is named the home for the home page appears here. Now, so you see all of them here. This is a page that exists outside of the outside of the published pages or, or viewable pages because I'm testing uh, this um, slideshow widget that I purchased that's not working properly. So the important thing to note here is hide in navigation. And what that does is any page that sort of exists just in this area puts a link up here automatically unless you hide it in the navigation. See how it appeared there now? I don't want it to appear there. So now it doesn't appear there. So ignore this page for now. What we're going to talk about is the resources page. And I tried to set this page up very simply so that the less experienced users here can easily copy this page, you know, create a new subcategory page and edit it. So what we're going to do is we'll go to the resources page with all this info. You're going to copy it. Now see how it appears here and it appeared into the list. You can move these pages to different positions on there, but that's not our intention here. So we could go in here for now, hide it from the navigation, and now we basically have an exact duplicate of that page. You know, you could always create a new page, but we don't want to because then you have to redo all of this stuff. Like if I created a new page, standard page, whatever, it's nothing there. So that's not what we're wanting to do. And so you see this is identical to this at this point. So what we can go ahead and do, there's a lot of entries here, bear with me. These are how you can delete these individual entries. I wish I had a whole bunch of witty banter and jokes while I do this, but I don't. So I'm gonna drop it down to three entries and I will edit these with the page that I currently have open. So you simply Select this, okay, so, oh, I skipped something, you know, you could, you could Change this if you want, it's pretty generalized. You, know, you leave that there. Um, but the page that um, 
because I, I have a list of categories uh, for this resources dropdown. So say this particular page is going to address vaccine safety. So I change this header. Sorry, I skipped this step. Got a little bit ahead of myself. So I've changed that header. So back to this. So now we want to change this link. So I'm going to go up here, select that. Control C is copy, Control V is paste, or you can right click and copy, whatever works. Come here, when you've clicked on this thing, you go change. Now, to stick with the, the style that I've already done for, for the existing pages, as far as popping the link up in a new window, I unclick that because for one, to keep it kind of consistent, and two, I don't know, for me, the opening in a new window kind of annoys me. I'd rather leave it to the user to right click on the link and open in a new tab or window if they want. Um, so you paste that into there, and that's done. You see the, see the, the link changed? So we can go ahead I'll do another one just to show you again. We're copying that. And we'll change this. And then we'll go back to this. See how it says science.gov. Change it. Keep that unclicked. I'll show you that in a second. Paste. Done. Now, say you need to create a, a new one of these boxes. So you're just going to go to build. Very easy. Grab a text widget. Drop it there. Now we have a blank one to work with. So let's do vaccine safety from the CDC. So we'll go Okay, and then you hit return one time. Now just type this out for consistencies, I guess, so that all the links kind of look the same. Oops. I can't see right now. Now you just select it, go to this link, go website URL, because it's not a standard page within the site, it's external website link, and there's that box uncheck that bad boy and let's post the link and there you have it so now we have two separate pages oh I keep skipping steps gotta go here change this one to vaccines Sorry, I had this all planned out. I made a whole full video and the and the screen capture software didn't capture it right. I had a wrong setting and now I'm just skipping steps. And uh, I apologize for that. So now we have two pages. This vaccines page is a copy of that first resources page, but we've changed it. So what's next? The subcategory. Want to see how difficult this is? Okay, you drag this. Now notice how that, it's very subtle. You see it shrink a little bit right there? See how it expands to the full button? If I leave it at the full button, it's just a page in there. You know, if I hide it or I unhide it, it shows up right there. We don't want that. We want to make it 
a submenu. So you put it underneath resources. You go a little bit to the right to where it shrinks. See that? Now we want to go back, let it be seen in the navigation, and there it is. It's just that simple. And you can check it. Go to that page. All the header and everything stays consistent. You have the new content. And the same applies for the next subcategory that you want to put under resources. Just drag it right below this vaccines one. Make sure it jogs out to the right. It'll post itself right there. And nothing is saved until you hit publish. So we will publish this now. And there you have it. All right, and you can check your work. Yes, I did it correctly. You know what? I think I did it right. So I think that's it. I'm going to make another video on the uh, evil um, vertical divider. And I hope you enjoyed.